Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. All right, Mike, we had a nice break today from all the weather we saw the past couple days, but I feel like that has kind of come to an end. Yeah, the, uh, the yeah. pattern has ended Fun's already. <laughs> That's right. We could maybe see some rain even tomorrow morning. Could That's wake you up, huh? Yeah, we have another batch coming through in the morning, but take a look here, Robert, here over the next uh, several days. Tomorrow, 50-50 chance of showers and storms. I think early in the morning, then a nice break by mid-morning into the afternoon, and then by tomorrow night, another round, which could last into the morning hours on Saturday. I think Saturday afternoon looks dry, but again, not Saturday morning. And uh, not Saturday night? Uh, Saturday night's better. Okay, all right. It's better. Then for our viewers night. have something to look forward there to. There you go. And then, of course, look forward to Sunday and Monday. Sunday, of course, is Mother's Day. So don't forget that. Sunday is Mother's Day, and it will be sunny and dry. Some rain back in the forecast, as you can see there, by Tuesday and Wednesday. Our front tonight is to the south. This is the front that moved through here shortly in the afternoon hours. I was say shortly after 1 o'clock or so. Changed our winds back to the north and started to drop their temperatures uh, slightly back down into the 70s. We did top out at 83 degrees here in Waco today, but showers and thunderstorms have been firing out ahead of the front. And these have been some big time thunderstorms. College stations just to your south and to your east. Most of it looks like it will just be missing you because the cold front has actually just been moving through. So showers and thunderstorms are not going to happen behind the front. They're going to happen out ahead of the front where the air is a little bit more uh, tropical for that and more humid. But temperatures, look at this, have dropped into the 50s out west. 57 in Comanche, 58 degrees right now in the Brownwood area. These are like fall temperatures I'm showing you here. 63 in Waco, 64 in Temple, and down toward Colleen right at 63 degrees. So here's our future cast tonight. Mainly cloudy skies, but watch what happens here. Some showers and some thunderstorms could fire back up here by early in the morning. Again, we're going to watch a bunch of outflow boundaries that are going on right now down to the south and east of us, and they're going to kind of migrate back to the northwest. And we could fire off a shower or a thunderstorm here across our area to start the day tomorrow. But as we go throughout the day, you notice what will happen here, kind of quieting it down, mostly cloudy skies, but temperatures tomorrow only in the 60s for highs. By the evening hours on Friday, more moisture begins to creep back in here. And you'll notice it right there that more showers and thunderstorms will be on the way. And some heavy rainfall not out of the question. Matter of fact, as we go throughout the day on Friday and Saturday, some areas could pick up close to almost an inch of rain. So we'll watch that closely. Tonight though, mostly cloudy, cooler, still a slight chance of a shower. So mainly to our south and east, about 54 degrees. And then tomorrow it'll be mostly cloudy, 50-50 chance of showers and storms. One batch will be in the morning. I think one batch will be very late in the afternoon into the evening, only 66. That is it for the high. And look at Saturday, a 70% chance of showers and storms, mainly in the morning. The afternoon will be dry, about 70 degrees there for the high temperature. And you'll notice we're not looking bad on Mother's Day either right now. 77 degrees with dry conditions. And then by next week, we're talking temperatures in the 80s, Robert. And nighttime lows will be in the 60s.